Okay, now it's time to learn how to do the water connections and fill up the onboard water tank. So we're gonna come back to the rear compartment on the driver's side and inside there's a filter with connections on both sides. This side's the regulator. It's important to make sure that this is here, otherwise you'll over be putting too much pressure into the RV and then this is just so we can control the water on this side. And we've got two white hoses in here. Those are for potable water. We're gonna use them both to hook this up. But first, we're gonna hook this up to our city water connection, which is what connects to the faucet um, at your campsite uh, when you have a constant water connection. So this just goes and screws on here like a normal water connection would. Screw it on all the way. If you don't, you'll get a little spray back on you. And then you can turn these off so that you don't have the water on immediately. We're gonna take the male end of this hose here and hook it up to the regulator at the bottom end of the filter. All right, and then walk this back to the faucet um, or your campsite, wherever you're hooking up to your water, uh, directly up to the faucet. Okay, so now we're gonna hook the other end up to the faucet. There is two white hoses if, uh, in case you need a little bit of extra length, but most campsites you'll be able to do uh, with just one. So now we're gonna turn our water on at the faucet. And we'll go back over to the RV. We'll show you how to uh, run both the city water connection as well as fill up the onboard tank. Back here at the RV, uh, both of these are turned off. We want to bleed it a little bit with this open one so that you don't have all the water run right into the RV at once. So just... And then you can just flip this switch on and you've got water that's going on into the RV um, and all your water inside will work. You'll need to turn on the, uh, the water pump and the water heater um, like we talked about in the other video. Now, if you don't have a consistent hookup or if you want to make sure that you have water on board, um, for your travels, we're going to show you how to fill up the water tank, which is the top one. And this is the onboard gravity fed water tank. Just open up here. We're going to disconnect this. Make sure this is turned off. We'll disconnect at the faucet slash city water connection. Cover that back up. And then... This just fills, so I'm just gonna turn this on, let the water start flowing in the tank there. And uh, the tank right now is fully empty, so it does take a few minutes to fill it up. Um, when it's full, uh, you'll be able to, there's a little bleeder valve here, it'll shoot a little bit of water before it's all the way totally full. So uh, we're gonna take a break now because it's gonna take a few minutes to fill this up, and then we'll uh, show you how to close everything up uh, when it's close to full. We'll see you in a moment. So it's just about full here. It's gonna spit a little bit of water out of the, at us when it's full. And then we'll just turn this off. Uh, and then we're gonna go back to the faucet, turn it off at the faucet and drain the water out of the hose and put the hose away. Of course, you don't wanna forget to close this. Otherwise you'll spill your water out while you're driving down the road. All right, so now I like to just hang this over here so that these potable water hoses don't get down into the dirt. But we wanna make sure we drain the water out of it. We're gonna undo this. So you just have the hose end, regulator, filter, knobs, drain the water out of the filter. coil this hose up nicely as we do that it'll, it'll drain the water out of it and then reconnect the ends remember this hose 
is just for your potable water. Don't use this for cleaning anything off or anything else. We've got another hose in here and a, if you need for just regular day use or cooling off, just use this to hook up your drinking water. All right, and once all the water's out, we're just gonna hook these back together so that they stay nice and clean and stow them back in here with our filter and our other hoses. Thanks so much for learning how to do the water hookups and for choosing us for your RV adventure.